Morning people, a lot of hoo-ha this morning about uh, Mrs May's refusal to answer last night whether she would um, vote yes if a Brexit referendum was held. Now, um, the view in Downing Street is this is all much ado about nothing because it was a hypothetical question. Hypothetical questions, hmm. Is it okay for a politician to simply rule questions out of order because they are hypothetical? To be honest, I think it's just a get out of jail card when politicians really don't want to answer a difficult question. They say, ooh, it's a hypothetical question. It's a bit like that other favorite, ooh, we're not going to give a running commentary. The fact is, Hypothetical, hypothetical questions cover, well, probably all the most interesting questions. So, um, would you press the nuclear button? Do you believe in the death penalty? All these are hypothetical questions and they're usually about the big issues. And they matter because they give us a sense of a politician's true beliefs, their true instincts. So, my view is hypothetical questions, hey, those are the best questions and the most revealing questions. Hence, all the interest in Mrs May's refusal to answer the Brexit referendum question last night.